If you are planning on using OpenSUSE Eon or Kalpa or already on it, you might already have heard that the execution of app images is not supported. Why, there still might be situations where there is only an app image of a certain software available and you still want to run them. In this video, we will learn how to properly run app images on Eon and Kalpa without altering our host system. Also, we will learn and showcase some reasons to better understand as of why microOS desktops do not support app images by default. Furthermore, the tips and tricks in this video might also be a good way of running app images on other distributions too. Hi, I am Vortex Ekrontik and let's run app images the proper way. The wrong way! Oh, excuse me. Run my app image real quick. The proper way! Oh, excuse me. Run my app image real quick. Yeah, sure, what angle do you want me to fucking get? Fuck you and your shit! <laughs> Distrobox The return of the good old Distrobox As in previous videos already outlined, Distrobox is open to the Eons and Kalpa's superpower and will come to the rescue here as well. What we will do is set up a new Distrobox container, install dependencies to run app images into it, fix the container until it can run all app images, and last but not least create a new file explorer menu to run app images right away. Set up a new Distrobox Creating a new container is easy. Open up a new terminal and enter distrobox-create-name app image. Or, in case you run the closed source NVIDIA drivers, distrobox-create-name app images-nvidia. This will create a new Distrobox container using OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. Then, enter the new container using the launcher in your app menu or by running distrobox-enter app image. Inside the container, run zipper dub to update our Distrobox container. And sudo zipper in fuse libfuse2 for the bare minimum to run app images at all. Afterwards, test if you already can run your app images from within the container. Navigate to the directory you have downloaded the app image, mark it as executable and run it like follows. cd download folder of your app image, chmod plus x dot slash name of your app image and dot slash name of your app images. Chances are good that the app image does not run because of missing dependencies, so we need to install all missing pieces until the app image finally runs. These can be different libraries depending on the application and I cannot give you a complete list of those here. Why app images are not supported on Ian and Kalpa? The previous example gave us a few reasons as of why app images are not supported on Ian or Kalpa. First, they require an old version of Fuse and LibFuse with no security issues. Second, App images do not include all dependencies they require, unlike advertised. So, if Ian and Kalpa would officially support app images, this would require them to include a bunch of otherwise obsolete libraries. Or, users might fill up the open source bug trigger with X where the app image does not work. Or, require us as an end user to constantly add missing dependencies using transactional update, reboot, test the app image, install more dependencies, reboot, and so on. You see where this is going. So, instead we are doing all this within a mutable Distrobox container, which also can carry around lots of unused insecure libraries as it would not compromise our host system and not running by default. Nautilus Launcher Assuming you have already installed all the required dependencies for your app image to run, we want to add a convenient menu entry to our file browser to easily run any app image in the future. For this, Nautilus offers a way to add custom scripts to it by placing executable shell scripts into your home directory dot local slash share slash nautilus slash scripts. Here we create a new script called run app image, mark it as executable, and add the following at its content. No worries, you do not need to manually type all this in. I already did the work for you and you can simply download the script from my public GitHub repository. There's also an explanation what each part of the script does. In short, it will mark the app image as executable, launch the app image container and run the app image inside it. A Dolphin Launcher To add a convenient shortcut to Dolphin, the file manager of OpenSUSE Kalpa, we need to create a .desktop file at your home directory .local slash share slash kio slash service menus. Create a file called appimage.desktop, mark it as executable and add the following content. No worries, you do not need to type in this either. The desktop file is located on my public GitHub account as well. Usage The usage of both context menus in Nautilus or Dolphin is very straightforward. Right click the app image in your file browser and select the app image menu entry we created. In Nautilus it is located at the submenu scripts. For Dolphin it should show a new menu called app image. If an app image does not work, you will need to manually run them from our app image distrobox container and see what is missing. 
fix the container setup and rerun the app image until it works. So by adding further dependencies to your app image container, as you run more and more app images, you will soon have a fully equipped container, which should run all app images at some point. This might not be the most convenient way, but the best to not contradict with the core principles of macOS desktop. I hope you found this video helpful and we will meet in another video soon. Enjoy running your app images the proper way!